Good evening to all. Today we are going to take up another interesting topic, which is Turbo Expander and its association with the plant process. This is very interesting topic. So let's discuss about Turbo Expander and the plant system. Before that, uh, these are the processes, plant processes, and this is a phase envelope on x axis it is a temperature and it is a y axis having pressure we have a different uh, you know this side left side right side is a vapor left side is a liquid and uh, we have a liquid vapor mixture in between this envelope so if, if you look at the process a this process a which is dew point control process where gas is cooled down to remove heavier hydrocarbons so that gas can be sent through the pipeline. So uh, if you see this process A, the expansion is relatively smaller. The process B, this process, LPG recovery process where essentially all the C3 plus is recovered after the cooling of the gas. Process C, this process, ethane recovery process and at this temperature essentially all the C2 plus are recovered in process C. Process D, this one, is a dense phase mixture is expanded under the dome and often it's it's a relatively high liquid uh, high high liquid fractions so in, at the d you will get high liquid so these are the typical plant processes where turbo expander is working and uh, this is again typical plant process. So let me explain the flow path of the gas. This is a turbo expander. E stands for expander and C stands for compressor of turbo expander compressor machine. This is a JT valve which acts in parallel with turbo expander. So first gas comes into the gas to gas exchanger this one where gas is cooled by another gas or this gas and since the gas is cooled down here and comes to expander inlet separator there is a liquid con condensation so liquid is taken out at expander inlet separator then gas comes to either expander or jetty valve if expander is not running and machine is just start sorry uh, this one plant is just started on jt mode then this gas comes to jt valve then you will see there is a pressure drop temperature drop and gas comes here which is as a cold separator if machine plant is running on turbo expander compressor then gas is cooled here there is again pressure drop temperature drop and comes to the same location that is a gas separator here again liquid is generated that is recovered here and lean gas coming from this cold separator comes here since since this gas has low temperature which is used for cooling of incoming gas here in gas to gas exchanger then it comes here and if plant is sorry if turbo expander is not running then flow will be like this this will be bypassed it comes here comes this side and goes to bypassing this machine goes to finally to plant process through check valve but when machine is started turbo expander compressor is started it follows the same path but here since compressor is running 
there will be some pressure rise so this side pressure becomes more and so the flow doesn't occur this way so all the flow has to pass through compressor and then finally goes to plant so this is typical process for turbo expander compressors which is working in the plant you can see the view of plant processes it has many machines pipings valves etc and here you also see turbo expander and jt valve so this is jt valve you can see it's a jewel thompson valve or jt valve short name is jt valve same way you can see this is turbo expander which is in operation with the plant process this this is expander or turbo expander and other side is a compressor this this is igv this is expander inlet pipe outlet pipe similarly compressor in and compressor out now let's understand the basics of plant process energy is stored in the gas stream so energy is available in the gas stream because it has a pressure it has a temperature so now this is a requirement we need to extract the energy from the gas why why we want to extract because we want a low temperature as a process requirement and also we want to recover power from the from the energy so because of these two region we want to extract energy from the gas now what are, what are the processes or how we can recover energy from the gas the only process called expansion process so if you use the expansion process which is uh, efficient process least costly uh, least costly process is not expensive process where you can achieve power as well as temperature now there are two ways through which we can recover the expansion process one process that can be achieved is using the joule thomson valve that is jt valve and another is the expansion through turbo expander so these two ways through which we can we can do the expansion of high pressure gas energy and recover the recover the energy so again this is jt valve you can see here and what is a what happens to jt valve if you look at the thermodynamic principle it is called isenthalpic process that means enthalpy remains constant in the jt valve because jt valve doesn't produce the work if there is no work there is no enthalpy change and what happens if flow occurs in jt valve so these are the output there is a drop of pressure there is a drop of temperature but there is no power recovery because its process is isen enthalpic or constant enthalpy process so we can achieve only two action less pressure or pressure drop temperature drop but we cannot recover the energy or recover the, uh, recover the power now looks look look at the turbo expander it has a, this side is a turbo expander this side is a compressor and these two are connected with rotating assembly so gas flow you can see this is turbo expander inlet this is turbo expander outlet this is compressor inlet and gas compressor goes uh, compressor outlet process so turbo expander what is this its machine it's a radial inflow xl outlet process turbine turbo expander is a machine it has a radial inlet and xl outlet it's a process turbine and what is how it is designed 
it is designed for 50% impulse and 50% reaction turbine which is the best efficiency turbine and what does expander it can produce low temperature and power recovery so in case of gt wall we have seen that we can recover low temperature but we cannot recover the power whereas in turbo expander we can recover both low temperature and power so turbo expander if you do the expansion through turbo expander the process is called isentropic process or adiabatic process and what happens to gas there is a drop of pressure there is a drop of temperature and power recovery so turbo expander is a better choice because it has power recovery facility whereas in jt wall it doesn't so we can say turbo expander is a better option for process gas expansion process so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this session about the basic information of turbo expander process of gas and turbo expander used in the process plant and why turbo expander is a better options for selecting over the jt valves so thank you thank you for watching and see you in the next video